Hey guys, Stephanie here with Creates from the Heart. And today I want to show you a project that I have made. I'm just not going to um, get to a video of it um, before the most mini albums, but <clears throat> I'm doing it now. But I also added a few little things that I um, didn't see the first time or whatever. So um, I'm not on my stand with this phone, so, so you have to forgive me so much for the shakiness or whatever. But um, I will do my best to show you as best as I can. I'm also going to move my light um here on my desk so that it'll be brighter but it'll also be able for you to see it better so this right here is a shadow box that i have made i made it out of chipboard and um, I, I mean the whole the whole thing's in a chipboard i did not buy a shadow box for it um so this right here is completely made out of chipboard and um this right here is kind of to indicate like what i do i made this from my scrapbook room um but it's just kind of to to remind me of what I'll do and what I like to do and stuff. So to start off, I want to start off with this big piece here. This right here is probably one of my um, mem memorable, <laughs> how do you say it, piece. Um, because this palette knife here was one of the first palette knives I've ever had. And I don't use it no more because it's so old and it's um, all stained up with stuff and everything. But I put it in here. Also, I have... Um, a bunch of brushes that I've got, uh, that I've had stained blue with paint. Um, like I said, I'll try my best to zoom in here so you can see. Let me just pull this light down a little bit. There you go. So you can see it a little bit better. So, and I've got a blue lace there holding the brushes together. And there's another little brush there that the handle broke. Um, that was probably one of my most used brushes. Um, and I glued it in there. So there's that. Um, Back here in the back is um, lined with a gold foil design. I also have a um, feather here because I use I love feathers. Everything in here represents what I love to do when, when it comes to arts and crafts. So um, this piece right here is a butterfly because I love butterflies and stuff um, in my arts and crafts stuff. And down here I've got a stencil brush because I do stenciling. I also glued um, down a glue gun stick because I do a lot of the hot gluing. A lot. And um, this right here is a sea sponge that I've got um, blue paint on and I glued it down because I, do, I do a lot of um, sea sponge paintings for backgrounds and stuff and they're really pretty. I got that idea from, this, um, from Amy Pierce and um, that is her YouTube channel name is Amy Pierce. You can check her paintings out. She does wonderful paintings. I love her idea. Right here is a glue dot because um, a lot of times I'll make like small, small embellishments or something out of glue, hot glue as well. So I kind of put up there. So going up above this one first, I'm going to do it here. Once again, I'm going to move my light so you can see a little better. This is my, this is a miniature saddle box. Um, this has to do with my art. Um, as you can see in the top, there says number one. That's a tortilla for shading. I've got a watercolor. Let's see if I can do this this back there is a pen is um, a pencil watercolor paper alcohol ink here and um, that there is just about camera because i love taking photos and stuff i've got a red rubber eraser a real eraser back there this here is a sketch and i've also i also use my sketch pencils through that there and i stacked it on um black cardstock i still have to listen um on cardstock so this right here's my little art section um Coming around to this side piece here. This right here is probably, uh, I love this. I just really love this. This here has to do, this section here has to remind me of my um, fabrics and sewing and um, ribbon and stuff I got there. Um, this right here is actually ribbon and I've got it rolled up on a piece of cardstock like you would get um, stocks of um, fabric um, on a roll and stuff. I've got two of them here. This here is a little bowl with a bead on it to indicate that um, well, I make hair bows sometimes. Here's some buttons. Here's a little um, dress form, and I got a measuring tape on it and happy because it makes me happy to uh, to sew with stuff. I don't make a whole lot of videos of that because I don't um, have much fabric or nothing right now. Then here's another one for a little smaller piece. Back here's a little tag um, with some lace because I love making tags and. Um, there's some wa oh, distressed watercolor back here. 
Back in the back um, is some cards. That I, oh, I took the envelopes and cut cut it on down. Me and my light hair seems to be a little better. And um, I inked them all with um, ink, and then I used um, post stamp there and some um, script stamps to make it look like it's been mailed out and stuff. This piece here is another tag that I've made because I love making tags. It's got a little burlap bow. I absolutely love burlap. A little metal bronze key. This piece here is a little pop-out um, piece from a plastic um, a plastic packaging from one of my scrapbook stuff. I, I just indicate that I love to repurpose stuff like that. It's got pearls and socks. I absolutely love pearls. And it's got one of Tim Holt's number 17, um, what are those called? Number brides, yeah, number brides. They're in here because 17 was um, how, I, how old I was when I first started doing, um, when I first getting really into arts and crafts. So I've done it for a long, long time ever since I was a kid, but I really got into it when I was 17. So here is also one of those decorative pins that I have made. Um, I enjoy making them up there. Now, because that kind of also helps indicate like the jewelry part and stuff of, of what I do. Down here below, <clears throat> Once again, I'm going to move my light so you can see Christian here has a lot of detail. This is really pretty. Down here below, um, I've got this little scrapbook section. Um, it's got, I'm sorry about the shaking this here, people. This little piece back here, let me use my, um, uh, this little piece right here is to indicate my mini album, my, my albums and my layout. Um, this right here is to indicate my mini albums that I've started doing. That's one of the things that I added today to it. Um, this right here is my paper storage, paper scrapper, and as you can see, it's got like real pieces of um, design paper in it. Um, let's see here. Like there, you can see. I put cut out different pieces of paper and actually put in there and make it look loose and stuff so that it indicates my thing. Here's a pair of uh, scissors. I actually got this scissor here from the EK Success. Um, let me see if I can get it out. Most of this right here I made myself. Um, unless I could already find a paper of it and I just backed it to cardstock. But this right here actually come out of this. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's a Jolie's Boutique. And it's like a nursing a nursing thing. And it come out of, um, out of that up there. Or no, I'm sorry. It did not come out of that one. I was just saying it didn't look right. It came out of this one. Uh, this here is Life's Little Occasion um, first haircut that y'all there is a piece of us. That's the scissors that it came out of. Um, so that there came out of that package. Then right here is like a ink pa is like a paint palette and that has supposed to be like a little sponge. So do a lot of sponge painting and stuff. This right here is indicates a card. Because I love making cards, and that's a roll of ribbon. Because I love doing things with ribbon. This piece here with all the colors, and this right here, as you probably can already tell what it is, but it looks it is to copy mimic a um, Tim Holtz blending tool because I absolutely love his tool. But the item back there that has all the colors, that up there is to indicate my uh, stamp storage, which is right here that I made out of foam uh, foam core board. So that's what that there is to make. So I absolutely love that there. I love my ink pads and stuff. I couldn't do it without here. So all this right here is to indicate my scrapbooking. Down below it here is a little thing just to say inspire. And um, because up here I used um, a little Tim Holtz paper clip. So I love his ideology stuff. I love it. And down here it says inspire. And I've got a lace, a lace bowl um, paper clip. And it's on there, um, as well as this little paper here with the heart. Here is actually a wedding invitation, like a reserved seating card. And I put that there in here because I want to show that you can use other stuff for crafting and everything besides just craft stuff. So I love that. Out. This here is a die cut out of a paper pack. I put two pieces of chipboard, and then I use Alina's tacky glue clear gel, and uh, put on top of it to make it all shiny. It's kind of like a glossy accent. Here's just the word create that I used. Here is embossing um, the stamp camera from um, Stampin' Up Travel. And I use my embossing powder because I love embossing powder. 
And as you can see here, all the edges are done with washi tape. That also indicates that the washi tape is done. And this part, these two parts down here is just kind of a little decorative um, more than anything. But I do have my dolly back here because I absolutely love my dolly. The glass jars, um, I do love glass jars. And this one right here is missing its cord, but that's okay. Um, it did have it when I got first done this, but my son's got a hold of it. And um, this right here is a glass jar that I painted. And that's even one of the reasons why I like glass jars because I absolutely love painting them. And then this one here has got a metal charm because I love charms. And it's got um, alcohol ink, my homemade alcohol ink on it. And um, so there's that one. This one here, I took the blue ribbon, the same blue ribbon I use in my brushes, and put around it and then use a jute cord around it. Up here, this is a jute cord on the tag as well with the light blue and white um, lace. I said that earlier. So, and then I took one of my butterfly sequences here because I absolutely love butterflies and I love the sequences. And then here is just some wooden stamps because I absolutely love wooden stamps. And on the last box, this one right here, is mostly with just like a fill-in for little small things. And um, this right here is a little, a little tag, a die cut tag. I wrote with a Sharpie marker Create um, with the metallic silver. This here is using die cut with a Views, um, um, die cut with a Views gauze paper. And I um, just cut it out with my one inch scalloped hole punch because I love my punches. And use my Tim Holtz brass, once again, the ideology of it. And made a little flower because I love making my homemade, uh, making my own embellishments. Then there's a little uh, dice and a clue game piece of my top hat because I absolutely love vintage stuff. And I um, also love using game pieces for embellishments. As well as here is a um, glass bead and a, um, a rose pendant and I love using the stuff I got there in my chunky charms and um, my embellishments as well and then I have my rhinestones back here <coughs> excuse me because I put rhinestones on a lot, a lot of stuff as well and then here is some um, adhesive back bling because who doesn't love bling so everything in here indicates um, what I like when it comes to arts and crafts and scrapbooking and stuff and I really love how this turned out although my scrapbook room is done in purple and black and white um, I've done this one here a little different because I wanted it to pop up I didn't want it to get lost with the rest of my stuff because I absolutely love this so um, this is going to be my scrapbook room and it's just kind of inspire me and, re and remind me you know what I do and everything and um, a lot of this right here is really you know small details it took me a lot like this one right here the mini album I've done here just like you would do the mini album you put the cardstock pieces down, you put, put the, fold the paper over the edges, and then um, fill the crease and then fold it over. So I've done the same thing there. I've, you know, I've got all this right here um, indicating, um, you know, the small pieces and stuff. And I mean, it's so pretty. All of it, you know, um, is represent a miniature version of the real version that I, that I love to do. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my new blog. In the description box below and check out my other videos on my channel and keep stay tuned to watch the channel the videos coming up bye